Smith around here, and we're here with the Claymore from Medieval Shop. Uh, they were nice enough to send it to us. Uh, you got to see it uh, in our box opening video. It is beautiful. Everybody kept voting. We're glad everybody was voting. Uh, we don't have any way to do a real tally. I mean, go through all those and everything everybody said, comments everywhere. But we believe the Claymore won on being the first video. Everybody wanted to see this large blade. We've never done anything like this before. Later, we'll probably come out with some technique videos, but in this one, we're going to test all of its cutting ability. We want to see how bad it really is. The old Claymore was famous for having its uh, uh, long, heavy blade. Out of all the great swords from early period in the 13th century up, it was used from the 14 to the 1700s, and it was used against plate. It was used against plate and mail armor and it was a scary weapon but this one is beautiful i love this because it gives you a lot of cranking ability it's got a long handle which gives you a lot of ability to use it and get a lot of power with it uh historically it was actually the uh claydemar uh and it became called the claymor which means great sword is what it means uh claydemar uh clady means sword so clady beige or clady big meant small sword and they actually had a basket hilton sword that a lot of people think is a claymore but this is the true Claymore, or the large sword, the big sword, the one that was used in combat that killed horses, took out men in armor, took out more than one levy, supposedly. Legends say that they'd cut two people's heads off at once or go through several legs if somebody was charging this by swinging it. So today we want to try that out. We want to thank Medieval Shop again for this fine weapon and see how well it works. Beautiful edge, like I was saying. It is excellent. It's unbelievable. I love the edge on it. And it's great steel, as you saw me in the video. Nice temper. Let's get going and see what we can do with this. Beautiful. That first back edge cut was beautiful. Let's try another one. Ooh. We lost it from the pedestal. We still got a beautiful cut with the back edge. Clean through. Hardly any tear. That's a three inch roll. I'm impressed. Yeah! Nice. Beautiful back edge cut. We got a front edge cut and then a beautiful back edge cut. Little tearing, but not much. This is a full three inch roll. We've, this is the thickest rolls we've ever cut. I mean, that's like hair over three inches, I'd say. Maybe it's three inches. Three inches on this one. We have some bigger ones, though. I've got one that we're really going to try out. I love the back edge cut. That was cool. Oh! That was a beautiful cut. Not bad at all. Oh, it's a beautiful cut through a lot. And I can quote you a lot. I'd say it's way over three inches. Let's try that again. Oh! We're maxing it out on paper here. Cutting with tightly rolled paper and is doing beautiful cutting. I am extremely impressed. Ah! Got this light stuck in there. Got a beautiful speed cut. Pretty nice going through two bottles. All those cuts were exactly clean through. Some of them are probably my bad, I didn't make it quite to the right angle. Still beautiful display. We're going to see how much damage you could do to a levy's head if it was lightly armored or unarmored all together. I'm really curious what it will do to a head. I've heard legends of it cutting through multiple warriors, uh, cleaving body parts off like they're nothing. Let's, let's see what this can do. Way high. Still ah! I really don't think they lie. Sorry about the high hit there, guys, but that's nasty. I got man. carried away. I have never seen a decap in any of our videos yet. Sorry, the first one, I would have scalped him. Sorry. 
but that was clean. I think it could go through two people. I really do. I think it would go through one head and into another. You think? Oh, I think so. All right, let's go ahead and try a back edge cut like I did earlier or see what happens. Ah! Ooh, that was nasty. We went clean through the jaw, through the spine, and we left a little bit of jaw here, but the rest of the head just went. As we said in the other videos, not really any skin flaps with uh, ballistics gelatin. If it gets that thin and it's got that much momentum behind it, it tends to tear the rest of the way. But look at that, straight through our jaw. That is very difficult to cut through. That was impressive. Ah! Well, that definitely went through the spine. Cut through all the ballistic gelatin. We just happened to lose it off the pedestal. But that was a clean cut with the back edge. I think the sword's living up to his name. Well, all I can say is this Claymore is performing way better than I would have expected. And I've heard from some other people. I think Matt Easton might have said that once that two-handers don't cut very much better than one-handers. I'm sorry, I'm seeing a lot more carnage, a lot more damage. This is just a mini reply to you, uh, Matt, if you hear it. But this seems to be doing some impressive damage on these skulls, and we know that they're harder, if just as hard, if not harder, than human skulls. So what I'm going to try doing is go through both of them and see if we can go through two skulls, or at least one skull and into the other. And we might try double decap as well. I think this sword could do it. I've tried lots of weapons that I, I knew they were powerful, but they probably wouldn't be able to pull it off. This length of blade from Medieval Shop and the way it's tempered and the steel and how sharp it is and how well it's holding up, uh, I most certainly think it will with this leverage. Ah! I would say it killed one person and it went into the other. Let's see if we have any blood, or did it totally stop? It stopped right under the base of the skull and the jaw. But still, we did go from one person to the next at the hardest point to get a kill through a skull and into the next one. I still wouldn't want to be this guy over here. I'm sorry. Let's try that again. <laughs> ah! Oh, I got blood in the eye. Ooh. I don't know exactly what that did to the other head, but we can sure as heck see. Oh. We cut it off right at the neck. Right at the other, the, uh, the, not the neck, but the jaw. We went through both jaws. Looks like it cut and came clean through and hit this one. <sighs> ah! oh, our only problem is we knocked it completely off the pedestal. Oh, it wasn't secured properly, but let's see what kind of carnage we got. Ooh, I can't believe this. We went through the jaw, in through the skull. That is just nasty. That was a back edge cut, just seeing what that would do. They're supposed to be weaker. But through our fake jaw, all that ballistic gel, and all the way into the brain, or the brain stem. I think that's very nasty. It would have probably went all the way through if it was a if it had secured, if it right? had been secured. Yes, it probably. All right, would. we lost it for our pedestal, so we didn't have them anchored down like we normally do because we were in a rush to get these two new pels set up. Let's go ahead and see if we can do a double decap. I'm sure, everybody's going to want to see it. It should hold for that. Ah! I would say we got it. Ah. Oh. Well, my special joint didn't hold, but we got a clean cut. Our gel decided to split due to uh, seams in it from casting. Sorry about that. But I'd say we got our double decap through both spines. Ah. And it was a clean cut. I'm most certainly impressed. If you hit the next, I think that's totally possible and plausible if they were standing in line. I don't think the next would stop it. Actually, really, really good. Ah!
I would say he's dead. That was the closest thing we have gotten to what the LaSalle Partisan did. I'm impressed. Very much so. That was a clean cut straight down the middle. I definitely don't want to be hit by this if I was unarmed. Even with Mail and uh, Gambison, I think it'd be a kill. I really, really do. You'd be dead from a head blow. It has the mass to do it even without the edge, his ability to cut. And all that energy focus to a small edge. Oh, God. All I can say is medieval shop, I am 100% impressed with this sword. It handles well for uh, almost six pounds or 6.6 .6 pounds, I believe. I'm not sure exactly on the weight. It feels like nothing. Moves beautifully, but the power and the momentum is astonishing. Look at these cuts. This was the first back edge cut I did. It cut it beautifully clean with the back edge, which is supposed to be a weaker cut. This was our largest roll here. And you can see the kind of cutting we got. It's a little tearing on the back. I didn't have a lot of time to soak them, but these are wonderful, beautiful, smooth cuts. Uh, all I can say is thank you so much for sending this. Thanks for uh, voting on this as it being our first weapon. You can also grip up here if you like. I mean, it's not sharp, which is actually good at this area. Some swords are sharp back here, but you can actually choke up on it if you want to fight in close. Uh, maybe get some pole arm or something to get in on it. Uh, it's wonderful. Everything we've done with it hasn't taken any damage whatsoever. Uh, it still retains a great edge. Uh, all I can say is I'm impressed with Medieval Shop. Be sure and tune into all our videos. Uh, like us on uh, Facebook. Uh, ask to join our, our boat crew there on Facebook. It's a private group. Uh, we'll surely accept you uh, if you're uh, of our caliber, which most people are. <laughs> and uh, be sure and uh, subscribe to our channel. Like our video if you like it, uh, tell people about it, and uh, be sure and help us on Patreon if you can. Uh, we had some donations there for a while that we thought were there, and we never collected all of them. I'm, I'm sorry, but it looked like we were getting quite a bit of money there for a while. I just want everybody to know that some of those were not going through. I guess they just used an old credit card or something. But uh, anyway, uh, go there and check us out. Uh, we're going to have some new goals on there, and help us out. Barbell!